So everybody, I'm here with my vinyl Beatles vinyl update, and uh, it's quite a decent one. So here we go. Uh, Ram again. I'm hoping you can hear me over the landlord mowing. Uh, Japanese edition um, has the inserts and everything. Uh, I was hoping I wasn't paying attention. Uh, this is probably in very good plus condition. I wanted, I like my Japanese and excellent or near mint, but still really reasonable price. Uh, when we was fab, 12 inch single by George Harrison. Uh, very nice find. I was gonna see the lighting is kind of bright in here, but UK pressing, really nice shape. And I love this cover. I love the artwork. UK pressing of Band on the Run, no poster. And this is in decent shape. This one is very exciting. Uh, the Beatles Re Wow. The Beatles Revolver on the Horse label. Uh, I think this is the blue label. Nice sleeve. Here, uh, this is in really nice shape, and I won this really, really cheap. Beautiful shape. Stereo. Okay. Show you the label here. It's Odeon and Horizon. I don't know what year this is. Maybe late 60s, I'm guessing. I have no idea. But very cool. Sounds great. I need another copy of of this like I needed to hold in my head. But the Beatles lie at the Star Club in Hamburg, Germany. Still in the shrink. This hand has like the brick wall look. And I kinda always like this cover better than the other one. Uh, this is a Holland press and double album. I'm just gonna show one here. Uh, this is just fantastic. I don't know how many times I need this these type of versions. But it was really cheap. Uh, this is the birth of the Beatles. This is still sealed. Um, I don't have volume two. I have this one opened. All right, Paul McCartney, the interviews. This is a uh, English pressing on yellow vinyl. This is just interviews, but still really cool. Really pretty yellow wax. And I held off on this because this is pretty uh, reasonably priced. But I never can find it with the 45 sleeve, or the 45 as the extra here. So there's the 45 on black wax. And uh, these had ended. The guy had this one and a Japanese Spies Like Us 12 inch single and he combined he gave me a really good deal on this there's the inner sleeve and the OB is really nice there's the, on the Odeon label really nice shape This one I've been waiting for for a very long time. I always see it for like 30, 40 bucks. Ridiculous. Uh, McCartney's put it there, 12 inch single, uh, with the art uh, print by McCartney. And this is a Parlophone. Really nice shape. And I like, uh, I think, same time next year is on here. And the first. Mama's Little Girl. Both great songs. Those, these songs are really hard to get, you know, with these singles like this and uh, how hard they are to get. So it's nice to have that. This is still in the shrink. No hype sticker, but that's okay. Uh, UK pressing of Wings at the Speed of Sound. It was nice and gave me a plastic lined sleeve for it. Show you the label there. And uh, if I can get it back in. 
to show you. I don't know if you can see it. There's a shrink. This next one was a dollar find my dad found at the estate sale, and is the early Beatles model. And this is number three. So, Marv, anybody tell me what coast this was pressed on? Now, it has the original sleeve, and it's in fairly decent shape. Uh, there's some uh, butterflies, but other than that, it's a really nice album. And uh, my dad picked it up at a state sale for a buck, so I was excited. And I guess some other lady had a stack of Beatle albums, and it kills me. But I got lucky and got this one. Nice cover. Binding is a little rough. Same with the back, but really nice. I listened to it today. It sounds so good. All right. Today's mail finds are... Today's mail, what I got in the mail. Ringo Starr, Bad Boy, Canadian Pressing, in the Shrink. Um, I have a promo of this, but the cover is really beat, so I decided to get a, a nice upgrade. You can see that, really nice. This album is not too bad, it's an okay album. Uh, John Lennon. Walls and Bridges, a uh, great album. This is on the Apple label. I'm not going to pull out the face swaps or anything like that because I think most of us know how the album cover works. Uh, this is actually uh, made in Canada as well on the Apple label. Really nice shape. This one I've been wanting for a long time, but always see it for a decent amount. George Harrison, Best of Dark Horse. I don't know if you can see that. The glare. Very dark picture. Dark. Uh, this is made in Canada as well. Really nice shape. And a scratch on it. All of these, pretty much. Says the early Beatles has some. And uh, here's the original inner sleeve on the inside, but he always gives me uh, generic safe sleeves, which is a very nice of him. Uh, um, the Beatles featuring Tony Sheridan, like I need this one as well. I have a bunch of these, but I didn't have this cover. <laughs> and this is still in the shrink. UK pressing, Pickwick. This I've I've been wanting it, but I didn't want to pay you know a lot for it, which I didn't. So very nice shape. Okay, the John Lennon collection. But needed an upgrade of this. I have one in the shrink, but come to find out, this is uh, Canadian. So I can't swap it out. I have a cover in the shrink, but the record isn't as is not in super great shape. But, so I'll keep looking for an American pressing. No complaints though. Alright, I had volume one on the Music for Pleasure label. I don't know how many of these I need, but this is still in the shrink. And uh, it's on the Music for Pleasure label. Side. Uh, Red Rose Speedway. This is a German pressing. Nice uh, lined, plastic lined uh, sleeve. This one I was excited about. I have no idea if this is an original pressing or not, but it is Let It Be in the Shrink, and it is a German pressing. And this is just stunner shape. No red apple, half apple on the back. Very, very awesome. I was worried I wasn't going to win it, uh, but I did for a decent price. And my, no, this isn't the last one. London Town, which is a UK pressing, not in shrink. 
can see that. My lighting's bad in here today. And this one. History of Rock Music. This has My Bonnie and more like Tony Sheridan kind of stuff. Cry for a Shadow and She's Sweet. Still in the shrink. This is uh, made in Spain on the Polydor label. see that but they're all very very nice shape and that is my last one quite the update uh, I'm hoping to get more I have a huge vinyl update at least I don't know I'm gonna say 70 some albums to do so stay tuned take it easy everybody peace